Well, from paying for insurance on health care to studying and training for providing health care, there's uh, a new approach at Fox Valley Technical College in Grand Chute where they are getting some upgraded training. It's a $12 million simulation and technology center that opened about two weeks ago, and Fox 11's Eric Peterson reports the area's new virtual hospital. Oh, am I going to be okay? Yeah, you're going to be just fine, Mary. 58 year old Mary Roberts may be having a heart attack. History of hypertension. Roberts is a human simulator at Fox Valley Technical College in Grand Chute. In this mock emergency, pain level is 8 out of 10. Paramedic, EMT, and nursing students work together. The virtual hospital is part of a new $12 million project which also features occupational therapy and a clinic. We can do a, a lot more things with our students. We can expose them to a lot of different situations that they might not have been able to see in, in the past. It is extremely lifelike. It's got pulses in all the places that a human being has pulses. Um, you can listen to the heart, you can listen to the lungs, you can listen to their stomach. The virtual hospital is geared toward more than just students at the tech. Other healthcare professionals may use this facility as well. It is a recertification process for others. It's just the world of healthcare is changing so rapidly, so what we thought we knew a couple years ago, well, there's new information, new research. The emergency may be an exercise, but the training is very real. You can kill the simulator as many times as you want and it comes back, but then you know what not to do on a real patient. It helps prepare not only these students to have more competence with those clinical skills, but more confidence so that when they actually come into the clinical setting, uh, they're much more prepared. Nice job, all of you. Yeah. And in this virtual case, Mary Roberts is going to make it. In Grand Chute, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. The simulator center is part of a $66.5 million referendum that the voters passed in the spring of last year.